Hey, what's going on, Archons? Welcome to another episode of Would You Rather Deck, or sorry, Set versus Set. And this week, I decided to go with Dark Tidings as the candidate to be voted against, and AOA was chosen to go against it, which I think is really interesting because I actually like this as a matchup in a Would You Rather. So, first up, let's pop the challenger i guess or the this is not the challenger this is the the victor because it always gets chosen and today we got donahue of mine allen with a really saucy logos untamed shadows and then for the aoa we have going against it is davint the educated going Ooh, Logos Untamed Sanctum. That's pretty saucy, I must say. You'd love to see that. You just do. You love to see it. Um, all right, so we got the little tabs on both of these, which means absolutely nothing, because the easy open tab just means more struggle for me. I'm going to be getting a device to open my decks more easily, because I'm sure everyone is tired of watching me struggle which seems like for no reason there we go got in perfect all right uh in on this one because this is deck a dt is a and aoa is b how's that for some confusing stuff so let's deal with this nonsense now see the red stripe i feel was easier to open the clear one is a little more challenge. I say easier as I struggle over here. This is like my friend. This is the running joke he has with me every single time he sees me or that we're opening decks. I just, I can't figure out why this is such a struggle for me. I'm definitely getting some tools for this. Oh my goodness. It like, it gets frustrating folks. It gets frustrating. Although it does build anticipation. At least that's what I tell myself. All right, here we go. Deck A and deck B are out. Let's drop the uh, the tide card and that, and let's see what's in this first one. Deck A from Dark Tidings, the reigning champion. We got, ooh, Chronophage. I don't think I have any Chronophage decks. Nice. And then we have Binary Moray. I don't have Binary Moray decks either, believe it or not. Sick. Isotropic Core, Armor Drone, Bill Jordan, Edai, Edai, Hydro Cataloger, love that, Infomorph, Information Exchange, Old Egad, Science, and we move on to Shadows with a Hand Cannon, Lil Niff, two Lil Niffs, you don't like that, Old Bruno with a Draw, that's cool, Jackie Tar, Jackie Tar, Kerwallop, Loot or Pillage, One-Eyed Willa with a draw, another One-Eyed Willa, Scooped, Sea Urchin, move on to Untamed with a Stampede, All Tied Up, Assert Dominance, Chelonia, Chelonia, Deepwater Gruen, you love it, Key Frog, Mylobi, Persistence Hunting, Reap or So, Way of the Pixie, Ooh, that's nice. And Witch of the Dawn. All right, so what do we like about this? First off, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two creatures. That is very high for Dark Tidings. But Pips, we got one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and nine pips. That's not too bad for twenty. Twenty-two and nine. I, I can I can accept that. That seems fairly decent. Uh, now, what is interesting about this deck? So there are the rest of the stats. Obviously, a Reaper so with Way of the Pixie is very nice. Um, the double Chelonia is great. 
especially if you use three or more creatures this turn. I guess you could use the, the Reaper, so it could work really nicely with that. But, um... Yeah, I'm just trying to think some things I want here. So Key Frog's cool, though you don't have a way to really pop it off. Oh, Assert Dominance. Okay, so you got Assert Dominance, you have Reaper So, uh, and if you have one other creature, you can basically get yourself to have used three creatures to get Stampede to go off. So that's kind of cool. There's ways to make Stampede work outside of the normal bounds. And then obviously the double Chilonia with a Deep Water Gruen, that's four Ember right there. You love to see that. You just love to see it. Um, all tied up is great. In shadows, we got a sea urchin. Never mad to see that. Scooped could work well. If you are popping a key frog, you got the one-eyed willas. Again, some nice little action there. Uh, I like this for the depending on what you need to do provides some nice little action there. Curl wallop. Uh, the sea urchin provides fodder for that. And then obviously your opponent's board. Good ward popper. Double Jackie Tar. Uh, these. I have actually have a lot more respect for Jackie Tar than I have in the past. I find it can be really helpful for making your opponent um, getting to do a reap and deal 6 damage. It's just really nice. Old Bruno again, super solid. You're never mad to see uh, a capture 3 with a drop hip. Double little Niff, not as stoked about that. The one cool thing that you can do though is if you put little Niff and then you can get some stuff going here like the assert dominance with little Niff is really cool so you can steal as well. That's kind of fun. Um, if I move move one from the, cre from the creature, this creature fights to your pool. Okay, so I guess that, that works well. Uh, things I want to give skirmish to, I guess little Niff's neighbors. That works for that. And then we got science with uh, one. With one. Literally. Science is absolutely beyond useless in this deck. Beyond useless. But you have a nice amount of creatures here. Hydro Cataloger with a double Edai. That is really, really cool. I'm, I'm into that. Bilge Warden's fine. This is fine. Isotropic's fine. So after you raise the tide, ready it. After your opponent raises the tide, exhaust. Reap archive a card. Again, more archival. And then obviously Chronophage. Wow. That is sick. So you can really shut down your opponent. I mean, if you can get off doing a so and putting power counters on it, even potentially, to just make it that much harder to deal with, forget about it. And then Isotropic Core. Really good. So, uh, yeah, this deck seems good. I would say this is good. I don't know if this is top tier, but um, I wouldn't go that far. But I think it has a lot of really great things in here that can do a lot of stuff. The Untamed is really good, I think. And I think the Logos is just going to get on board really nicely. And the stuff that you have on board, you may want to be using. Um, yeah, every house is going to get on nicely. That's the cool thing. If you can get your Chelonias to stick somehow... You're laughing, especially going into a Logos turn with all those creatures. Yeah, that could be something to contest with. Now on to deck B. We're bringing over Devent, the Educated. And we got Igor, Pip-Pip, Titan Librarian, ZYX Researcher, ZYX Researcher, Interdimensional Graft, Backup Copy, Jar Goggle, Memory Chip, Remote Access, Seismo Entangler, and Tropic Swirl, favorite action for me. Then we move on to Sanctum with a Blinding Light, Blinding Light, Bordon, Chell, Golden Aura, another Golden Aura, Healing Blast, Protect the Weak, Baron Menjavin, Equalize, Spirit's Way, Eye of Judgment. Ooh. No Ember Control, basically, in Sanctum. You don't love that. And you got Fang House. Glimmer. Grove Keeper. Key Charge. Persistence Hunting. Save the Pack. Save the Pack. Camouflage. Camouflage. Choda. Flaxia. And lastly, Mighty Tiger. What a booty AOA deck. This deck is trash. I already can tell you deck A is the one. Uh, this is garbage. This is hot fire garbage from AOA. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 creatures, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 12 pips. Yeah, this, this deck is garbage. There are the rest of the stats. You can see that it's garbage now. Um, there's nothing I like about this deck, to be very frank. The Eye of Judgment is kind of cool, actually. I mean, let's count Ember Control on this deck. One. Two. Done. We've counted all the Ember Control. No, there's a Graft, so it stops bursting, but that's it. This deck is everything I hate about AOA exists within this deck. Straight up. Save the pack with nothing to pull it off except for a mighty tiger and getting rid of something. Yeah, I'm not I'm not even slightly impressed with this deck. Golden auras are fine, but I don't think I care. I mean you can disrupt. The Entropic Swirl is cool. Like I don't even want to go any further with this deck. This deck is just trash. It's trashy McTrashersons. Um, yeah, I would be surprised if anyone chooses this deck. I don't even want to go into the analysis because it this deck is boring to me. I'm bored. This is boring. You bore me. Um, so I can see you stif stymieing boards with blinding lights, okay, if we're going to get into this uh, properly. The Healing Blast has potential. You can protect your Baron Menjivin either by putting it behind Taunt or by giving it extra armor. Uh, you can equalize off of your Baron Benjamin, which is kind of nice, potentially. Or your Borden, because it's all coming through capture. Unfortunately, I don't know if I'd want to discard a lot of stuff in uh, in here, except for maybe Spirit's Way. Uh, I don't see how you're going to pull off the Chota Key Charge and stuff. You need to get a bit of a board out. And then have a Flaxia play, like a Flaxia into Chota, maybe a thing that works. I don't know what I'd want to really glimmer back. Probably something from another house. Uh, the the ability to archive a bunch of stuff and recur through these ZYXs may be a thing that can pull off. Especially the graft, getting to keep that. But it's it's really nice because it's, this deck may struggle with Ember Control. So by limiting your opponent's ability to actually burst, because they know that exists, it gives you that, that sort of chance, I think. I love Entropic Swirl. It's my favorite action card because it has so much utility. You basically can get up to 3 Ember and deal 6 damage based on the way traits exist now. Um, and what else we want here? I mean, I'd back up copy the ZYXs for sure. Or an Igor. It's kind of nice. Even a Flaxia or Chota if you think you can get the burst. But I don't think the burst is here. I don't think the Ember Gen is as nice as you would like. Weird deck. Super weird deck. So which deck would you take, A or B? You know my thoughts. Deck A all the way. Uh, please comment below on you, what your thoughts are. This is not an exciting AOA deck for me. This is this is the reason why people don't like AOA to a degree. This is not as bad as some I've seen, but this is the reason why people are like, Ooh, AOA? No. No. I don't want it. No. That's basically what happens with AOA. Um, but then you get the really nice AOA like uh, this deck here which is going to be coming in a video soon, and you'll see why that one is magic. But for this one, no. And anyways, folks, I hope you enjoyed this. As always, may your amber never be stolen and your keys forged promptly. Tune in tomorrow for Bag of Decks and another deck being given away to one of my Patreon supporters. If you're not part of that and you want some of these decks, hey, become a Patreon supporter. You get a deck from any set. So until next time, folks, have a good one.